Hey everybody, it's Connie with Connie's Crafty Corner. Um, today's Friday, April the 1st, um, and I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on, and I do actually have three things I finished. Um, I didn't film a video on Wednesday because as uh, you know, if you saw my last video that my husband had COVID, and of course I had to get it, so I'm feeling much better today. I've got me some hot tea, some water, because I keep coughing, so I apologize, you guys. I'm gonna try to get through this without coughing too much. Um, <clears throat> but let me show you my first finished objects. Okay. You know, Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Is that it? Happy to Hook Creations. But Lisa, you know who Lisa is and I'll link her channel below. Um, we did a yarn swap and in it, she gave me some Yarn B Scribology and the color is Aqua. And I do have my glasses if I need them today. Um, and out of that one skein, which actually was, how many yards? Um, 79 yards, I got seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, scrubbies. I did some square. They are square, even though they don't look it. <laughs> I did this in just the, I think it's called the griddle stitch. I'm not really sure it's the half double, no, the single crochet and then the double crochet. I actually did single and half double. I did 11 stitches and then just did up until it formed a square. Um, but I got five in that size, in this size, which I, I didn't measure, so I don't really know how big they are. And then I did this. This was the last one I did. I just finished it off when it, I ran out of yarn. And my first one was a circle, which I liked, but I had used a smaller needle and I thought I'm gonna try something different. And I saw her, I guess I'm copying Rose. I saw her do the square ones and I thought I'd give it a try. But I enjoyed that, and I can't believe I got so many out of one skein of that yarn. Okay, the next thing I'm, I made is called the Boho Chic Crochet Headband. Rose from Rose Lights Crochet is taking, like, headbands, not ear warmers, headbands for, I think it's the month of April. I, I'm almost positive. I, I should have checked before I got them here. Um, and so I made this one. And it has a band in the back. And it, I thought at first it was a little big, but I actually can wear it. And I got like an average size head. I think, I don't even know what inches it is, but I know it's not really big or really small. So, um, but I love that. Can you guys see that stitch? It's really cool. It was, um, it's free on a blog that I found and I will post it down below for you guys if y'all are interested in making it. And this is the yarn I used. I'm gonna break out my glasses. Um, 100% cotton DK weight. I hope you guys can see that. Look, you can see the light in my eyes. That's terrible. I hate I have to have this light, but I cannot, I have no lighting in here at all. I'm gonna start filming downstairs. I've got my yarn and stuff in the basement. And I got a big window in that room and it gives them pretty good light. I think I'm gonna try to start getting down there if I can ever get the mess cleaned up. Um, but this is, Let's see, like I said, it's 100% cotton. I'm just trying to see how many yards, because I have quite, it's 25 grams, and it says 75 point, I mean, 57.5 meters, and I made this, and I've got that much left over. I need to weigh these to see if I can get another one out of that, but I was kind of surprised at how far that went. And I have several of these. I got this yarn in a kit, um, and I can't remember which kit it was. See if it was an Annie's. I think it was an Annie's. Then again, don't quote me on It could have been a Bella Coco. I can't remember, but I love the yarn, but I didn't use it for the project it was intended. Uh, but my last finished object is the Linus Shaw. I finally got it finished. And there it is. And I didn't use, you know, I was holding the two finger and weight skeins together and they had like 400 something yards and I didn't use it all. Um, I'm gonna save it and probably put it into a scrap blanket. I am gonna do a scrap blanket out of all those minis I showed you guys um, a while back, a few videos ago. I'm looking at my notes, y'all. I'm, I'm trying not to forget anything. Okay, here's the works in progress that I've got going on. And this is that cardigan I was working on by the Make and Do uh, crew, but I did not write the name of it down. It's like the Mezzo or Meza or something like that cardigan, but I will link it below as I will all these other patterns that I'm showing you. Um, and you do the, you do two hexagons, and this is one of mine. It's the only thing I've got done so far. You have to label it each side, one through six. I just got these little <laughs> stitch markers. But I love how this yarn, I, wish, I hope you guys can see, it's really a pretty color. It's got little puff stitches and double crochets. 
You do two of these, and I think what we're gonna do is end up folding it, something like this, and then you work from there to do the sleeves and the side. I don't know exactly how it folds, but I'll show you guys more when I get it done. <laughs> There's my husband, say hey to Jeff. <laughs> Photo bomb. <laughs> he said he was gonna do that. I can't believe he did. Um, but anyway, that's funny. He is feeling better as you guys can see and he's having to work from home today. So they put him out all week because I don't want anybody getting sick. Um, but anyway, that's funny. This is uh, the last, no, I've got two more uh, works in progress to show you. Uh, I am making a swimsuit cover up. Uh, back before the pandemic hit, my husband and I and my daughter-in-law and son had planned a cruise. Um, because my other daughter had just got married. She decided she didn't want to go on it because they was going on their honeymoon and all that stuff. Um, no, that's a lie. It's true. I can't believe I thought said it that way. She was getting married the year, wait, how did that work out? When did we plan that cruise? Okay, anyway, we planned it before the pandemic. She got married the year of the pandemic, so that wasn't the case. But anyway, we had planned a cruise, and my other, my daughter and son-in-law wasn't able to go, so the four of us were planning on going. Uh, well, the pandemic hit, and that just messed everybody's plans up. So, unless we use these cruise credits, we're losing our money. So, uh, they transferred the money over to us. And long story short, Jeff and my husband and I are going on a cruise. My sister's coming to stay with my mom, so Jeff and I are very excited. Um, but I have no swimsuit cover up, and I thought I'm gonna make me one, because I've got all this yarn, and there's a tons of patterns on the internet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit hoarse. This is the Easy Breezy Swim Cover, and I've made a mess out of this. I'm just gonna show you. This is the first four rows. I've got many more to go. It basically is a big rectangle that you leave a head open and you make a belt and you just slip it over your head and do it. It's gonna be very simple. But I chose to use the Comfy Cotton Blend from Lime Brand. And the color of this one is Flower Garden. I love it. I've made several things out of this. I think I've had a blanket in the background and made out of a different color out of this. Um, I chose this yarn because I had uh, the Karen Ripple Cake that I started it with and it just felt stiff and heavy and I just did not like it. So I knew I wanted a cotton blend. And so far this is just feeling amazing. So there's the colors worked up so far. So I hope to have this to show to you for you next week. I can't even get my words out <laughs> to show you guys next week. I only have three skins of that. Excuse me, y'all. I'm gonna have to cut off. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, and if I run out, I thought about doing the center section with this right here, this one. And this one is the whipped cream color. So I thought that would work well together if I needed to do that. I don't know. I, I have no idea if I'm gonna need it or not, but I got it there on standby. Okay, the last thing I'm doing, someone in the comments had mentioned that I need to do something with some bright colors to bring up my mood. I guess I was having one of my days. Yeah, I was crying in that video, I think, but I'm doing much better, you guys. I'm telling you, I was so sleep deprived and with so much going on that it, it was just a hard day. And I apologize and I appreciate all the kind words from all you guys. But anyway, I decided to do something with some brighter colors. And I had this kit let me show you. Right here, let's see if I can show you. It's the Mini Solutions uh, scarf. I bought this last year, and it comes with a um, pattern. Well, it's called the Mini Solutions scarf, and it's mainly to be used with uh, mini skins. And it came with these colors, minus the yellow, because I've already used it. Let me see if I can get them all out here. I'm actually using the pink one right now. It's these colors super soft. It's like a, I think it's a, a super merino, merino blend with uh, nylon. You could use this for socks if you wanted to. Um, here they are. I'll get them up close. Oops, there we go. And then it had the yellow. And I've already used it. Well, I've started this project many times over the past year since I've had it. And I'm just not loving it. I didn't know if it was my inexperience in knitting or what. Excuse me, I'm making a mess here. Um, but it just was working up way too loose. And I was using like, it cost for a four and I was using like a 2.75 or 2.25, something like that needle. Still did not like the way it looked. So I decided to pair it with another yarn. And I'm using 
this, which is, I hope y'all guys can see it. It's the Southern Skeins uh, that I got in a subscription box a couple months ago. And I've decided to use it holding the yarn double. This is what I've got done so far. Let me see if I can show you without pulling it off the needles, guys. I'm sorry. And this is basically the shape the scarf's going to be. You see how it is? So there it is with the yellow. And then there's, you do an eyelet row in the middle and you add the pink. There's where the pink starts in. And you'll see a much, here's the pink. See, it brings it out when you hold it up next to it. Um, but I think I'm gonna like this. I'm really excited. I'm um, really debating on what color to add next. I think I'm gonna go with the, am I doing the pink? Now I'm either gonna do the orange or the green. Probably the, uh, I don't know, probably the orange and then the green and then the purple because I kind of want the orange and the green and the purple to be the main ones, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. That's the thing I love about crafting. You just never know what you're going to get, um, especially when you stray from the pattern a little bit. Um, now that I've got everything in a tangled mess, I'm going to show you guys some new yarn that I got. Um, you know, I showed you that shawl that I did last month. No, not last month, last week, I'm sorry. It was the um, Fortunes shawl that I did out of that um, yarn I got from Interlacements. It was the 100% nylon. It was their zigzag yarn. Well, <clears throat> you know, I told you guys they had a three month club and of course I loved that so much and it was so soft. And I look, excuse me y'all, I'm sorry. I am, my voice is just gone. I might have a sip of tea, hold on. It was, um, I love that yarn for the summertime. So I thought I'm gonna join for three more months and we'll see. So this, they've actually changed it from the zigzag. It's called Baby Rick Rack now. It comes in 100% nylon and you get approximately 900 yards. Um, and this is the color that I got this month. Is that not gorgeous? I love this. And because I've got 900 yards, I know that I'm gonna do Oh, I don't know. I was going to say a shawl, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm wondering if it's enough. It's a fingering weight, so I don't know. I have to look up on Ravelry or somewhere. Or if anybody's got any pattern suggestions, please let me know. But this stuff is just so pretty. There's the tag. It's called Scottish Honey. I don't know. I can't pronounce anything. I am too Southern for this, let me tell you. I've always been terrible at pronouncing things, and I think it's, I've always blamed it on my accent. And here's the back of it. I'm going to try to show you. It's the interlacements, the baby rick rack. Oh, y'all not going to get to see that too good. There you go. Hand, hand dyed by Tracy Shoot. I'm not going to try it, y'all. I'm sorry. Hand washer dry clean. And you can go to interlacementyarns.com if anybody's interested. And I'll show you up close again. See the texture on the yarn? They call it the baby rick rack. The zigzag was a little bit more pronounced in its texture. Let's see if I can get that a little better for you guys. But anyway, I love it. I'm excited to see what I get for the next couple months. I probably won't do it for just the three months. Um, because first of all, I don't need the yarn. But second of all, I, maybe I want to try something else after that. Who knows? Uh, but it came with a few goodies. And I'll show you those. I just threw one of them in the floor, but it was basically advertising something, and I have, I, I, I'm just absolutely just too lazy to get up and get it right now, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, came with some stitch markers, which I can use tons of, because like I said, last time I showed you guys some, I lose them all the time. And it came with this little stitch counter. I've had one of these before, and I don't use it. I don't, it, it's just too much for me. You got put it around your finger, thumb, whatever, you know, and you just click it as you go, but I probably won't use this. But um, anyway, I love that yarn and we'll see. Maybe if you guys have, you know, come up with any suggestions or anything I can make out of that, it'll probably end up being a shawl. Who am I kidding? That's my favorite thing in the world to make as y'all have well seen from my mother projects. Um, but I think I'm gonna end it here. Oh, by the way, I want to tell, thank you everybody who subscribed to my channel in the last few weeks, or actually all of you. I've just been overwhelmed. Y'all are the nicest group of people. I, you just always seem to say the right things at the time I need it. So um, it's been it's been great to talk to you guys. Um, but anyway, thank you so much, and I will hopefully see you next week. And everybody have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.